everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. I've been sharing with you guys some of my favorite dolls out of my doll collection. And in today's video, I have decided to share with you Rita. Rita was made by the Paris Doll Company in 19, the early 1950s, about 1951-52. Um, she uh, is made out of all hard plastic. She's kind of like a walker type doll. She has free movement on her legs. And uh, even though she doesn't have a walking mechanism in her head, so when you move her legs back and forth, her, her head does not turn. Uh, she is not wearing any of her original clothing. Um, she would have been wearing uh, like a short plaid dress and uh, with an apron. And then her hair would have been um, would have been braided and brought around to the front of her um, on either on her shoulders. So she does not have her original hairstyle as well, but it is her original wig and her bangs are, I mean, I can tell that they've been probably re, re uh, I don't know what that word would be, <laughs> put back into somewhat of their original um, position, but it's not uh, her original style. Um, I can also tell that this doll, unfortunately, whoever owned her before, even though they loved her, um, she's in good shape for being from the 50s, um, they still um, would have displayed her in sunlight. And um, I can tell because her her face is a little bit more bleached. It's a little bit on the bleachy side, um, pale. So um, the sun would have discolored her a little bit. Uh, her makeup is still in pretty good. It's a little bit splotchy here and there, but for the most part, it's uh, it's still pretty good. Her teeth, her, her um, lipstick, and her tongue, all of that is in really good shape. Um, her eyelashes are in really good shape. Um, but she is a little bit discolored um, from the sun. And then also, too, her eye whites. The, the whites of her eyes are a little bit, they've turned a little bit yellow. Um, the pupils are still okay. Uh, they're not cloudy or anything. So the damage is not too extensive, but it has started to, that's probably the first thing that I noticed about the doll when, I, when she arrived to me was uh, the whites of her eyes were a little bit yellow. But these dolls are a little bit on the pricey side when you're able to find them, um, especially if you find them in their original clothing. So I was, I, I've always really wanted to read a Paris doll. I think they are really pretty dolls. And so I was excited when I saw one that was a reasonably priced doll that I could purchase. Uh, even though she's not an original, she still has her original wig and her makeup is actually, she's a very pretty doll. So I went ahead and purchased her knowing that I wasn't going to get original clothing. But you can sometimes still find, um, you can sometimes still find their clothing. Um, or um, sometimes you'll find somebody that's uh, parting with the doll because it's uh, fallen apart in some way and it has pieces of the clothing here and there. But this dress is actually really nice. It was either handmade or it's, um, it's a dress that possibly could have belonged on a toddler. Uh, it's more likely to have been handmade. So it's, a really, it's really pretty. It fits her very, very well uh, and accentuates her green eyes. So she's, she's a very pretty doll. These dolls, um, I believe she is probably, she's either 26 or 28 inches tall. She's, so she's rather large. Um, this doll is unmarked. Um, the Rita Paris dolls are not marked. Um, but they're pretty um, easy to identify because they have um, really like chubby cheeks, really chunky cheeks and uh, baby-like features. Um, and very, very pretty. They're really pretty dolls. Also, another thing is if you flip back the wig a little bit, you can see that um, the wigs are, are uh, glued onto their head, but their head actually has molded hair on there. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get that in there. So um, all of their dolls are, are, I believe most all of them have molded, molded hair underneath. So those are just some identifying marks. They're, they're pretty um, easy to identify though. They're very, very pretty dolls, very pretty dolls. So this is Rita. If you like Rita, please like and subscribe to my channel. 
And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.